and here we are again with more trains. Hi, I'm Max, and today I'm going to show you how to build the freight trains. Now, before we start, be sure to like and subscribe, and you can follow me on Patreon to support the channel and get access to the download for this train and all my builds. Link will be in the description. Now, let's build a train. Alright, let me place down a new station first, so we can create a new train. For this build, we are going with a diesel electric locomotive. So we're going to use a heavyweight wheels. Place the block back for another 13. We'll extend the block from the bogey on the front and the side. And as well as on the back. And now we're going to make the pilot and the front coupler. of stairs, shaft and brackets. Place the floor on the side and let's add another shaft. And we're gonna do the fuel tanks with the stairs. And simply repeat everything on the back and the other side. Right, we got the floor done. Now let's make the cab. I will make the locomotive with two colors, a gray from the underside and a yellow from the Ochrome. Place the headlight and a bit of railing. We raise the floor for the cab interior with a couple of blocks. And for the wall, we use the copycat panels. I'll add a bit of pillars into the mix. And then we go with the same color palette with an astro iron on the top. Let's add an actual light source for us. And for the roof, we'll be using a deep slate slabs and stairs. Glass trap doors for the window. Now, for the engine area, we'll continue the same block palette for 9 blocks back. Then this down just a little. Extend the cap floor back. And the rest of the foot plate will be a cast iron trap doors. Copycat panels with a cast iron support text over the railing. We can use the catwalk here. And in some decorations. And maybe try some of that exhaust fan from the steaming rails. Now let's head to the back. We'll extend the wall all the way back, but with mostly industrial iron on the top. Let's change up a few blocks so it's not too boring. We'll widen up the top by using a diagonal shoots and thicken the wall with some more panels. A couple of radiator fans. Also, don't forget the railing. A ladder here so we can practically get on board from the ground. And a railing on the back. Right click with the wrenches in the corners. Now let's mirror what we did on the other side. Let's give it a bit more textures. I 
Alright, that's pretty much everything on the exterior. Let's use an underside door for this one. And we'll place down all the controls, seats and decorations. Let's use a placard on the back here. And some wooden floor. Now, I think we can possibly squeeze a whistle behind these panels. <laughs> there we go. And the locomotive all finished. Let's move on to the carriage. Now, for the carriages, I'll use an arch bar bogies. And we need to place it down three blocks away from the coupler. Two blocks on the front, and nine blocks back. We'll keep the design language of the flooring very similar to the locomotive, with mostly a greyish blocks and industrial looking. Another shops and brackets, small tanks on the side, and the same process. Now for this car, I would try to make it look like a white freezer car. So I'm mostly gonna use the limestone blocks. A millstone is a machinery. We'll break the car into three compartments with the layered limestone. And we're filling those compartments with a vault. Cover up the vault with the panels and horizontal limestone pillar for the texture. A bit of detailing with the buttons and ladders. Layered limestone on the top and slope the shape down with the slab. Get a few fans and the buttons on there. And now I almost forgot the coupler. And on to the next car. I'm going to do the same car again, but I will change a few things. First, I will remove the roof. I'm gonna have this car be like a shipping container, so I will change the color to green with a viridium. But you can use any color that you like for the career blocks. You can have this be all stairs. Let's have this be a stair as well. And the roof on this will be a little bit flatter, so I'll use a polished steep slate slabs. Carpet had panels with a chisel deep slate. And for the third car, I'll get ourselves just a flatbed from the previous car. And we'll make this one be a log car. Let's cover up the basin. And decorate the same on the back. Now let's place down the locks. We can also use the copycat step as a small locks. And the mine card rail as a strap.
Alright, now onto the last car. I will get us another flatbed. And this car will be a tank car. When we place all that fluid tank, we'll just cover it up with the Scorchia blocks. And we use the stairs to make it a round tank shape. Ladder on the side. And I will make like a hatch on the top with railings. And maybe a few cast iron support. And let's finish the other side. A bit of railing on the front and some decorative valves. Shaft and girders on the back. Right, that seems to be all. Maybe a bit of detailing with the buttons. And all done. Let's take our time and glue the train. Alright, all glued up. Let's make sure that the glue is not intersecting. It shouldn't be any problem. Now let's assemble the train. And there we go. Thank you all so much for watching, this is a long time coming and I'm glad I got to share this build with you all. And as always, if you are interested in getting this build, the schematic download will be available on my Patreon. And I would like to thank you all my lovely patrons for the support you've given. You are all amazing. Have a nice day to you all, and I'll see you in the next one.